Hey, everybody. I hope uh, you can tune in and join me here. Uh, I am I'm doing something that uh, people have asked me about for quite a while, and that's do a little gear rundown uh, with uh, what I'm running. And you know, I am running. <clears throat> I'm running things differently these days. I I was doing the you know Tech 21 pedal into an amp for a long time. I'm right here, by the way. I'm just going to keep focused on the gear today instead of me. But I am here with you folks. Um, I used to run a Tech 21 pedal into um, a Marshall or a, you know Mesa Boogie actually, but live I was using Marshalls for a while just because of. Uh, the fact that sometimes mesas were hard to get, and um, I wound up going with Marshall. But I, I'm with Boogie now, of course. I I use Boogie amps pretty much exclusively. I have these Splons sitting here as well. I use those in the studio, and as you can see, they are uh, beautifully crafted in yellow and black. And I've got three cabinets that I had made as well. I have not used these live yet. So, you know, hopefully I'm going to get to use and abuse these cabinets pretty soon. Um, but anyway, I'm, this is my pedal board. It's very simple. I've got the Theta uh, ISP Theta Pro pedal that Buck and Shelly over at uh, ISP Technologies were, were gracious and incredibly kind enough to send me. And that's my tone. That is it right there. Um... I have a fractal, as you can see right there, the, uh, the Ultra, which sound better than the new ones. I, I don't care for the new ones personally. And this thing sounds great. You know, it does a lot. I used that for a couple of years live. I went direct and through an amp. I did not care for it through an amp at all, personally. Could never get a good sound out of an amp. Got a great sound direct. So um, I was still in search of a box that would give me a great sound through an amp and direct and that's it right there the theta pro isp uh it's incredible and i'm going to show you and, and you're going to hear in a second what it sounds like uh, there's my retirement shelf of line six stuff you know i i've used line six uh, on and off over the years they make great stuff great products but um you know just just not for me or at least that particular pedal that board the HD 500 I know they have a new one out which I played through called the helix Kemper makes a box for all you guitar players out there I'm talking gear ladies if you, if you could stick around bear with me I know it's a little boring <laughs> sorry it's a guy thing um anyway I, I played through a Kemper I played through a, a, a helix I played through all the Line 6 stuff, and, and as you can see, you know, it, it's, it's over there, and, you know, I'm using this guy because it, it sounds amazing. It's an all-in-one box. I've got, uh, it says on there, Sweet Chunk. You can't really see it. Probably hard to see. There you go. Sweet Chunk 2. That's my tone. Um, you know, they give you everything you need in here. you got all your presets. They're switchable. There's no pops in between switching. It's nice and clean. Um, I'm going to try going on just to see if this... Okay, now, I'm online. Uh, instead of my cell network, tell me if that's better, if the signal is better. Okay, you guys said it was weak. So tell me if the signal is better. Woohoo! Come on now. Let me know. Give me a message. Somebody write a message and tell me if the signal is better before I continue. I want this to be good. I really do. Anybody? Anyone out there? Better. Beautiful. All right. Cool. Anyway, so pardon the light. It's really dark in my studio. This is where Striper rehearses. There's Robert's kit. That's where I sing. There's all my gear. Well, some of it. I got a storage unit where a lot of it is resting right now. There's some of my guitars, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so back to this. Uh, it's got everything, switchable capabilities with no um, latency, no, no popping, no noises in between. 
It's got a boost you can adjust the level on, uh, phaser, chorus, delay, reverb, obviously. And then, you know, what's really cool about it is you can run through it. And what's sad is you can't really see, um, you can't really see the, there we go. There you, now you can see it. You know, there's your output level, your preamp distortion, and then you can scroll through that and select vintage or um, um, theta. You can adjust your gain, you can adjust your sag and output level and compression and all that good stuff. What's really cool about this is it has a pre-EQ section, and that's really key to what I do and what I use. I always cut low end on my distortion my pre-distortion and that cleans up the distortion really bad signal okay so let me let me try something else so go back okay I'm hoping this is a better signal okay can you guys let me know if this is a better signal because I just shut off my cell network now I'm only online so I hope it's better yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys hear it, but I want to run through it really quick, okay? Um, so it's got all these, you know, all these adjustments you can set, you can go through, post EQ, um, you know, which is after the distortion, you can adjust, you know, all that stuff, mids, highs, lows. Uh, it's got a built-in decimator noise suppressor, which is the best in my opinion uh, I've tried them all this one doesn't clamp out your your signal and gate and choke your your notes as you're holding a note for a solo it doesn't cut it off uh, it's got a, a speaker simulation uh, they call it intelligent speaker simulation it sounds fantastic uh, I use the greenback 412 and uh, reactant set low mic position set low as well so it's not as bright uh, I I have the wah on set to um, uh, 707 frequency, so it gives me that notched out striper tone. Um, so anyway, <laughs> you guys keep telling me the signal's bad, signal's good. There's not really anything I can I can do at this time. I'm not sure what to do, how to improve it. Um, but anyway, so we got uh, you got tremolo, phaser, chorus, flange, delay reverb all that stuff midi of course you've also got a uh, post stage out uh, eq and trim direct eq um which is really cool because if you're going direct you can eq it separately if you're going through a cabinet you can eq that separately it's got direct outs and cabinet outs as well so anyway i'm going to play a little something for you and i'm going to right now you're going to hear um, you, it's gonna go black, but you're gonna you're gonna just hear it because I, I can't play and I don't have a setup a, a stand. But you're gonna hear the the sound of it right now. And this is a cabinet and direct. Someone said to hell with the devil. Okay, so that's that's the tone with the direct and the amp. So the amp is coming out of the, the theta and going into this uh, kilter, which sounds amazing. It's a small little solid state amp with lots of control. The thing sounds incredible. It's 200 watts. It's loud. Packs in your suitcase. I'm blown away by this. They sent me one, a uh, kilter sent me actually two. And what's really cool about it is they're already yellow and black. So I, I thought that was pretty amazing. Uh, it sounds incredible. And I'm feeding the Splon 212 cab. And then over here, I'm going through this little speaker for the direct signal. All right. So I'm going to shut off the amp. I'm going to let you hear 
the direct signal right now only. Here's the direct signal. Okay, so that's the direct sound. So now I'm going to shut off the direct sound and turn on the kilter. And this is now only the amp sound. It's a little duller, you know, uh, not as uh, hi-fi, but it sounds fantastic. <laughs> So again, this is direct. I, I'm sorry, again, this is amp. Amp tone. So that is the amp tone. So I have the amp down and level compared to the direct. And here is the direct and amp tone combined, which is what we do live. This is my tone live right here, okay? Actually, not quite yet. There it is. Here it comes. So that's both of them. And again, keep in mind, you're hearing this over my iPhone microphone. I'm not going direct I'm not going through a console and giving you top quality tone I'm not set up for that right now so you're just hearing this through my microphone from my phone in person right here it is amazing I've compared it to my fractal a beat it to my fractal to all my line six stuff my splons my boogies the boogies sound great but the reason why I'm taking this uh, you know, you can't beat a real amp tone, but I'll tell you right now, this thing is right up there with the real amp. Uh, I personally have never heard an all-in-one box that sounds like this. This thing sounds incredible. If you're a guitar player and you're even considering picking up a new piece of gear, don't hesitate. Contact everyone, Buck or Shelly over at ISP. Pick up one of these. You can dial in the striper tone. I'm going to run through my settings at another time with another video and I, you can dial in the exact Michael Sweet tone if you want. I may even have to uh, have them add that to their presets uh, if they would be so kind and I'm sure they would be. Uh, but anyway, one more time, here comes that tone. This is a striper tone. Here goes soldiers. <laughs> So there you go, guys. I love you. Michael Sweet signing off. Go check out the Theta Pro ISP. Michael Sweet loves it, and I'm hard to please. I don't love much. I love that. God bless you guys.